Hey folks, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. It's a little windy out. The sun's gonna be a little bit blaring. I apologize. But uh, we got something new here. I'm gonna let you see. So what we got here is a Ford 8N. We received it yesterday. And this first tractor tractor on the property. It's a little dirty right now. They were using it up to the moment of purchase, pretty much. Uh, got three point. Working PTO. Got a hitch mount on the bottom. I believe I can't really see because the sun's glaring in mine. Uh, but yeah, the classic Ford 8N. It is a flat top four cylinder from Ford. Um, I want to say these were 40 horsepower from the factory. It was a very innovative tractor. Uh, it was originally a tractor that was used to replace the horse. They came out in the for late 40s. They are built through the 50s. I am not sure that year of this but i'm pretty sure this is probably a late 40s or early 50s it doesn't have the original type tires on the front it's a different rim and they put some temporary tires off of a Volkswagen <laughs> on it as you can see there uh so yeah it's a little dirty it needs to be cleaned up the motor was rebuilt two years ago. Uh, they put a cushion on the seat, but the seat cushion is tearing. That's fine. Headlights work. Runs pretty good. If you look at a video prior to this, it shows me hauling a empty hay wagon down the road in this. Um, but yeah, this is new here. We don't have any attachments for it yet. We're going to, we're going to end up getting a back blade for the three point and we'll be able to plow stones and level some ground. It'll be like a greater blade. It'll hook on the back. I do have the anti-sway bars for the back. Um, they're just not by the tractor right now. And it is a four speed transmission with reverse. It is not a Sherman transmission. If it was a Sherman, it would have a lever right there. And that would be a under or overdrive transmission. A lot of them were overdrives. Um, but this is a great little homestead, small farm, hobby farm tractor. You can find these all the time. You can find them all the time all around craigslist facebook marketplace all that you know whatnot let's see if we can see her there's Paige. she's going in to eat boys were beating up on her she's not feeling the best we took her out of the pen today i think it's best we will be moving the boys out of the homestead so we'll put her back in the pen and let her be with all her friends Back to the eight end. You know, it's a classic homestead small farm tractor. It has 25 horsepower at the PTO, so you can turn like a five foot um, brush hog or, you know, wherever you want to call it. I know brush hog's a company, but everyone just calls it a brush hog. Uh, we can have like a six foot five to six foot back blade, greater blade on it. We're going to probably run a six foot, mainly for snow. Uh, the tires aren't filled on it. Like you can have the tires filled with uh, with beet juice. A lot of people do beet juice. And therefore it's, you know, it's safe if it leaks. It doesn't hurt none, it's just red juice. And it adds weight, which would help for traction in the winter. There is wheel weights available for it. Right now, the tires are set up on the rear, a little candy wampus. One's out, one's in. Uh, but the tread's going the right way, so I'll probably leave it alone for now. 
my goal is to find uh, the right front rims and the right front tires for it. At least get period correct instead of, you know, don't go over 45 miles per hour. Is never go get there. But uh, it runs pretty good. Like I said, it was rebuilt two years ago. It's a flathead V8. Or <laughs> Everyone wants a flathead V8. It's a flathead four-cylinder. Uh, those motors are sleeved, I've learned. And so it makes it nice to rebuild because if you kind of score a piston or whatever, you just replace the sleeve and replace the rings and you're kind of good to go as long as your piston's still in good shape. You know, but you're not... You're not machining the whole block. They'll just press that sleeve out and press a new sleeve in. So that's kind of nice. It was converted over to 12 volt. So it's a lot easier to find stuff. There's no generator, 12 volt battery. So you can go to the local parts store, get a new battery. The only problem I have with it is the three point. I don't know if this is how it works on the ADN. I got to research it more. But the three point won't pick up unless the PTO is engaged. And that doesn't seem right to me. But maybe it is. I got to look into it. That is about the one thing I really don't know about this tractor. But uh, they were classic tractors. And it was done in Ford style. You know, there is no real frame on those. It's pretty much engine, transmission, rear running gear. And then they threw some panels on top of it and some steering arms. There is no frame. It's pretty much the engine and trans are the frame. So that's what makes them very classic. There was over 550,000 of them built during their tenure. And a lot of people say, hey, you know, the 8N was before the 9N. The 9N was actually built sooner. Uh, but you can find that. And there's one other model I can't remember offhand. And then there's also, oh boy, I'm going to forget. I can't remember. I think it's a Ferguson. So before Massey Ferguson, there was a Ferguson tractor, which is essentially the same tractor. But that's what we have new on the homestead is this Ford 8N. We're going to begin some attachments. We'll probably, like I said, Get that back blade we'll probably get a set of pallet forks for the three point we'll get a draw bar so i can move the trailer or the boat around when the people have it here and i'll probably get a uh or i would like to find the old ford uh two bottom plow for it i have that one disc cultivator here but it's only half here and needs to be rebuilt so maybe a disc carrow for it but maybe a cultivator just something to do some some leveling and replanting been already searching marketplace for some implements and there's some deals out there and there's some not so good deals out there but i hope you have a good day remember to like share subscribe these videos i'm probably close to the 50th video now the algorithm starting to work. I will probably be producing a wood turning video here this week. So if that's what you like to see, stick around. I'll show you something out of that. I believe we'll make a pen since I destroyed the last pen. All right, see you later.